Hey, good morning everybody. Welcome to Blazing Bloom. Today I'm going to bring you out here to our full sun garden. This garden gets anywhere between 10 and 12 hours of sun a day. Um, it's, it's a hot one. Uh, back here, this is, um, this is behind a privacy fence, so we don't have any deer issues back here. Um, so we kind of get to play around a bit more and have a bit more fun on what we get to plant us um, that are back here in a protected space. Uh, so I'm going to take you around today, show you what's flowering, and then we're going to kind of do a little bit of deadheading and kind of some um, some clean out on some of your uh, your cold flowering um, uh, or yeah cold uh, cold flowering annuals. Um, so let's get started. So we're going to start right here at these zinnias. Um, planted these zinnias early early spring, um, so they should be ready for the full heat. Zinnias love our summer's time heat. They give us full cover color all through the summer. One thing to note about zinnias is that you will need to deadhead them. Um, if you want them to be big and multi-branched, like you see this one here, lots of flowers, you want to come in and you want to you want to find these little ones when they're little, like this, coming up. And I've already done this one, but you just take that top head section off right there, cut it off, cut the top one off, and then that will make everything else sprout up the stem and it'll give you multi-branching multi flowers, lots of flowers, instead of just one. And then you just keep deadheading it as they keep getting spent and you'll keep getting new flowers. So I really like the zinnias there. They give us a great great pop of color during our really, really hot, hot um, summers. Let's keep walking around here. We actually have a, uh, this is a Turk's cap hibiscus pretty uh pretty regular i'm sure it's flowering at least or it did the other day it had one and there's one right there just starting this one this is another one uh this is actually edible it tastes a bit like apple it's pretty seedy but um the flower is edible it'll make a little berry it turns red and that's edible as well but it loves the heat and it gives us those little little flowers like that here you have the uh, nanho blue butterfly bush boudelet it is a, you know, it is a voracious flower all summer long. You don't even have to deadhead a, um, a butterfly bush in order to get it to keep flowering. It's just going to keep going. Great bush. We have a royal purple smoke bush here. The new foliage is just absolutely stunning on it. In contrast, we have um, to the to the older foliage. It's deciduous, so all this will um, fall off in the, and then come back out and sprout new leaves in the summertime or next, next year. And then we have a, this is a pink pugster. We just recently transplanted. It's looking kind of rough. So it's, uh, it's going to be a few, probably a few weeks before it starts looking, looking at its, its, itself. We have a, uh, um, that's a Mexican heather bush right there. Just starting to flower. Loves the summertime heat to flower in. It's just a very, very intricate flowers all along the stems of it. I like it. Now here we have pansies. This is the winter flowering we were talking about. What you should do with these. Honestly guys, when they start looking like this, so gross and nasty, just grab them and pull them out. It's just as simple as that. Just as simple as that. Just pull it out and disperse of it. Um, if it's, it has any disease on it, don't put it in the compost, put it in the trash. So, let's see. What else do we have going on here? Um, let's see, mom's, my, now, my favorite season right now is probably our hibiscus. Our hibiscus just look absolutely fantastic right now. These flowers are so huge. Let's see what I have in my pocket to kind of compare it to. I have a quarter actually. So like, here's a quarter to the flower. Aren't they just massive? So awesome. And they just, they pop out and they last um, just a day and then they fall off. And then another one comes out very quickly, but they love full heat, full sun. They love to cook. They're, uh, they are hardy hibiscus. I'm not sure if I said that or not, but they come back every year. They go to the ground. They went through the zero degrees uh, uh, that, or close to zero that we had back in February. They're awesome, awesome plants in my opinion. They're huge. They're almost as big as the butterfly bush, if not as big. I mean, if you looked a line across there, shoot, it's big, isn't it? 
What else we have? And I think that's actually it. All right, guys, that does it. Uh, that completes this video. We just wanted to give you guys a quick run around on our full sun flowers that we um, put in the put in our that are working with back here in our backyard. Um, I hope you uh, enjoyed the content. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks. Thank you.